Uh, but we've still got one more race to bring you today here at Brands. It's the uh, Santander Consumer Finance KTM Junior Cup. Always oh, fun racing in this one. Some young lads out there, some real talents to look out for too. Uh, so let's do that now in the company of Barry Nutley and Steve Place. Thank you, Matt. You can say that again. There is some real talent out there. And we've had two terrific races already uh, at this Brands Hatch circuit this weekend. But this one is promising to be an absolute cracker because the championship wide open, not least of all, because the guy who was on a maximum coming here on 100 points, Aaron Wright, unbelievably broke his arm in two places, both bones, with a collision in free practice, and didn't even crash the bike. He just clocked somebody else, so he's not taking any part. That's given everybody huge. The Taylor Fox Morton there, he's so fired up. Will Latrup, Tom Airy, Danny Bojko, they are all snapping now at the heels. They all sense any one of these guys, top five, could go away from here, sitting right up in the pound seats in the championship. It's, uh, as I say, two great races here determining the grid. We had a cracking, cracking race yesterday, and there it is. Jordan Gill on pole position from Will Lathrop. Taylor Fox Morton completing the front row. Connor Thompson was flying as well. Danny Bojko, Tom Airy, that's row two for you, Airy in sixth place. Miles Wosley, Caleb Smith, and Reese Guyatt, they're all regulars. Jack Nixon, another flyer. Young Adam Phipps, and Connor Moody on row four. And it's a 12 lap race. It is going to be sensational stuff. And alongside me, Steve Plato, who's been living the dream with these boys this weekend. <laughs> Thanks, hey, Barry. Yeah, living the dream, all right. There's been some cracking races already. A six-man fight at the last race, and uh, a great finale, and, uh, and a good result at the end for Will Lathrop, and uh, has done his championship uh, contention a great, great help for this weekend. So sad for Aaron Wright, the young Irish lad, that he's going to go away from here, certainly no longer, with the championship lead. And that's an absolute catastrophe, and he won't just be out for this weekend. Red flag then moving away and 12 laps ahead of these guys and they get round here and the blinking of an eye, I can tell you. Lights in the corner on your screen, top left, and away they go. And from pole position, brilliant start from the outside, all sneaking through. The red helmet, the number 89, that's Taylor Fox Morton. He's the lad, young lad who said the diminutive fella who is so fired up because he senses this could be his moment. That's a polite way of putting it, Barry. You know, when he says to me, you dip, he's always going to be first in the two and one. Five stone seven. That's all that little lad way is blessing. And we're going to wear the orange jacket there. Young Taylor Fox Morton, absolutely brilliant. The man from Worcester, T Fox Racing, uh, KTM, the 390 KTM. He's in second place, but cracking away out in front. Number three, Connor Thompson. Connor Thompson, of course, great result for him as well yesterday. Runner-up to Will Latrop in the second race, which Steve Plater described. I was actually away doing other stuff on duty. You described it to me as the most cracking race you've ever seen. It's a brilliant race. It really was. Six riders fighting for the win. The third race yesterday afternoon, uh, Connor Thompson won that race quite easily, really. Left it till two laps before the end and put his head down and, uh, and pulled away. He had the raving hook yesterday getting picked at the end by, by Will Lathrop and uh, the sure he's trying to make amends here and get away at the front. Well, the sad thing about Aaron Wright's departure, sad for him obviously, but uh, from an entertainment point of view, it has left the championship wide open and these guys know that. Every one of them, just look at the freight train queuing up behind the, the top two, but still that little lad in there, Taylor Fox Morton, he's doing a cracking job. 81 there, running around in third place. That's Tom Airy from Northwich on the Airy Racing KTM. There's Airy, number 12 in the mix as well. Young Jordan Gill, he started from pole position. Oh, it just goes on and on, doesn't it? Yeah, uh, and, and Tom Airy, he had to, uh, he arrived late this weekend, unfortunately, he had to, he had to go to uh, school right into his geography exam before he came to yeah, school, eh? How about that? What if I had to go to school? I'm going to struggle, so I'll be back in my old Winnebago before school starts tomorrow morning. And there he goes under the 89 Taylor Fox Morton, the T-Fox Tracy boy, assuming the lead. He got a cracking start, went out in front. But now it's game on at the front. Connor Thompson there in the hunt. Taylor Fox Morton out in front. Then it's Airy. In fourth place, it's Jordan Gill. And then behind that is Will Latrop, Reese Guy, Danny Bojko in seventh. But what a scrap these guys are having at the front. 
Yeah, good things on T Fox. Had a good chat with him earlier. He was very fast yesterday. One of the fastest guys on corner injury that kind of passed his mid corner. So we, I've just made him aware of his, uh, his negatives at the moment, and he seems to be uh, reacting quite well so far. Well, what a cracking ride he is having in this young stuff. 89 then, Taylor Fox bought that orange novice jacket, and the novice jacket has to be worn by those riders who haven't uh, acquitted themselves or scored any points in open competition, so the other guys know that they're a novice, but there's no novice in the back up. No, he's certainly looking like he knows what he's doing. You know, they have to wear these jackets for 10 races or 10 national races and they can gain their, their, their main license. But uh, Tom Harry there, he's going one again, he really is, and uh, the fastest lap of the race so far, third place. Uh, the KTM Junior Cup Championship run in all European countries and indeed in America. They're running as well, so it's a, it's a worldwide campaign. It culminates towards the end of the year when we actually have a World Championship final. And that, Steve Plater, is something to behold, isn't it? Fantastic. Look at these guys. 81 in third place, Tom Airy now. And Jordan Gill, number 12, running with them. But this battle at the front between Fox Morton and Connor Thompson. Well, the young son, I, I tell you what. I take my How good is he? Here comes Will Lapros. He's in fourth place uh, with the other orange jacket pushing hard. He's making good ground up and uh, he's looking for another podium place again for sure. Well, Fox second in the first race uh, of the weekend and then brought it home in fourth place in the second race yesterday. But now he's doing a great job out in front, wanting to make it top step on the podium. Look at the lead he's pulled. Isn't it incredible? Look at the gap. He had the bit between his teeth before the race. Very exciting. And I've only got finished third place. I believe in the championship. So uh, the win will certainly put pay to that. Well, number 26 there. Third place as well later up from the LRC racing team. On this 390K. All these bikes absolutely identical. Running on metal and rubber. Uh, street tyres. So, so well balanced for the point that Steve Plater made about young Fox Morton getting the drop because he, he's five stone ringing wet. <laughs> yeah, kind of little lad, you know. And, uh, but uh, Will Rathlow, he's moving forward. He's, he's already sticking that podium so far. I'm Connor Thompson back down to fourth position now. But he's got a, such a strong start. And uh, he had the hump finish second yesterday. So uh, without doubt, he'll be pushing towards the end. Well, we're uh, six laps in, half distance on this race, and they're closing up for that battle for the final two places on the podium. No mistaking the leader at the moment, but it's game on really for second and third. But uh, half distance, the whole pack separated by very little, I can tell you. It's uh, a very, very close sport race, and they circle them around here so quickly. Colin Thompson then still scrapping. Something like 30 yards now the lead, certainly 10 or 12 bike lengths Fox Morton has, but this battle now, three abreast, onto the start finish straight, another cracking race, it really is living up to expectation. Yeah, Brands Indy Circuit always produces great racing, we've just seen Jackie Byrne have uh, one of the rides of his career, I believe, in the last race, but... Uh, these guys pushing hard for second place. It looks like uh, T Fox has got a big, massive lead, but actually it's only just over a second. Well, the lap times are about two seconds down. Well, no, a second and a half down on the lap record held by Cameron Fraser. And uh, so he went round here at a 55.88. And at the moment we've got 57.2 from Connor Thompson, number three. Yeah, 56 is in qualifying, and you know, these boys have had to, they didn't really have dry races, they're like uh, spitting and messing around, so a little bit of head rain on the visor, but uh, without doubt, I think we'll see the, the lap times getting faster and faster. By the end of the race, I believe they'll be in the 56s again. That's right, 26 on the inside, there he is, coming up now to Paddock Hill Bend, underneath the number 12 of Jordan Gill and making that stick, but I'm really impressed with the young lad out in front. He is going to be ecstatic if he can just keep his cool. And don't forget, folks, we are talking lads from 13 to 18, really. Uh, so, immature, they find, look, immature racing-wise, they certainly are not. I mean, it's, it, I'm, 
I'm just so impressed. You and I weren't even thinking about it, were we? At that time. <laughs> we were thinking about other things. Yeah, a title. Yeah, a bicycle. <laughs> Absolutely right. <laughs> Yeah, they're doing a great job. Obviously, they're all fired up. So competitive, they really are. You know, you've got to understand that a lot of these boys were, weren't born until kind of 2001, 2002. They're only real youngsters, and these are the future of uh, the short BFB and bigger and bigger things than they're off. You said cycles. I was actually going to say gym slips, but <laughs> what's a gym slip people are saying at home? Look at those these days. Cracking, cracking race slips. Look at them. Look at the lead out in front then. Uh, second place, Tom Airy, number 81. It's Connor up the inside. Yeah, yeah. Indeed, he's so strong on the corner entry, he really is. Right, the muscle his way through, and uh, I'm surprised, I'll be surprised if he doesn't push on and uh, try and try and get down to tee Oh, another uh, hard move there on Tom Airy. That's Will Lathrope moving through. And, uh, Tom Airy's been shot back two places in two bets. Sounds, sounds hard, but fair. Hard oh, but fair. Yeah. Not quite where the dividing line is on that, but terrific at the front, but a great display by Fox Walk in the lead. It's great to see uh, Aaron Wright, the luck that was injured in free practice, who was leading this championship. He's won all four races before this meeting so far. It's great to see him walking around the paddock and uh, already on with uh, getting himself fit and hopefully good for Nuff Hill. Well, they're not catching the leader. They're all scrapping among themselves, but he still maintains that gap. Fox Morton, number 89, out in front. They're catching all right, Barry. Second and third place, obviously, Thompson and Lathrow, both in the 56s, as opposed to T Fox's 57s. They're catching, and they will catch him before the end of this race. Does he have a problem, or has he just sort of expended his energy or enthusiasm? Difficult to tell. There's no way we can tell. They're on him, though. You're quite right, Steve. Perceptive as ever, the timing screen. Uh, helping you for that decision. No, of course, you know, and you know, a little bit of inexperience there is leading this race and doing a fantastic job, and I believe until he gets whipped with his pit board or sniffs the uh, front wheel by the side of him, then he'll push again to go past it. Well, this is where we all cross our fingers and hope, isn't it? On lap 10 of 12. Now then, 89 leads. Fox Morton. Then it's Connor Thompson, number three. Then it's Will Lathrop number 26, so two orange jackets out there. Then right behind is Tom Airy, 81. Danny Bochco, number 34, is very much in the hunt as well. They're on it. These three then now breaking away from the chasing budge on the penultimate lap. Can he hold on now for a lap and a half of the Brands Hatch Indy Circuit? It's not going to take long, it's going to be over in a whistle, I can tell you. He's open, he's responded a bit. He's responded for sure, and I believe that, the, you know, uh, Thompson and Lathrope, I think they're going to end up probably having a single between themselves and may let him get away also. Here we go, last lap. Over the line then, one lap to go of the Grand Hatch Indy Circuit. I can tell you, the uh, superbikes get round here in about 46 seconds. These guys get round in about 57, so it ain't long. To wait. And that battle for second place now very much alive at the moment. Connor Thompson, number three, has got it. But underneath goes Lathrop, number 26, and through it. Can he hold it tight? Yes, he does. But, oh, round the outside, all the way onto the rumble strip goes Connor Thompson. Stuffs it back up here. You're quite right. This is where the scrap is. <laughs> he pops did respond, Barry. He's just on the fastest lap of the race, so he's got his head down and he's going for glory. So, he'll be out there on the pit ball. Father, I guess. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Come on, my boy. That's what he'll be saying. Uh, traffic ahead of Traffic ahead of This is experience. This is where it comes into play. How will he deal with this? Well, he's heading now towards the line. It's going to be victory for Taylor Fox Morton, number 89. Over the line he goes. Takes the win here from Connor Thompson, Will Later. Absolutely brilliant, brilliant stuff. A whole gaggle of them. Within very, very close order. Did right. that live up to your expectations? Yeah, without that. Great race. Obviously, Team Fox taking his first race. We're doing a sterling job and also taking the championship lead. Spare a for poor Aaron Wright, who loses the championship lead, sidelined by injury. Let's hope uh, he'll be back. Uh, did you answer my question as to how long he's going to be out? What do we expect to see him again?
he's hoping to get in the get in the, the chamber, you know, in the oxygen chamber, and hopefully get a lot of treatment, some nice treatment. Uh, he's been to hospital, been treated, so he's hoping to be fit, ready for knock which is five weeks' time this weekend for the BSB round there. Well, let's wish him well and uh, hope so. That will be great. So he's got a little bit of time to recover. Great race, though. Look at that youngster. <laughs> Hand on the hip, wave to the crowd. They've, uh, they've got all the mannerisms, all the style, haven't they? Smallest, smallest guy in this class. I think he's just growing two feet. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, fair play to him. Brilliant. Confirmation then of the results coming up. A win for number 89, Taylor Fox Morton. And uh, let's have a look. Well, very thrilling 12 lapper. The gap. 0.3 of a second at the end of the day. Connor Thompson, runner-up. Will Lace up Tom Harry, Danny Bochco. Reese Guy, Cam Smith in seventh. Jordan Gill uh, from the front of the race. Finished eighth. Jack Nixon and Miles Wosley. Ten seconds covering the top ten. Further down the order, Scott Swan, Adam Phipps, Connor Moody. The new boy, Jeremy Mercier at the back. And uh, Max Smith Helverson. He's learning all the time. J.G. Steve Fitton, boss's son. Well, spare a thought for poor Aaron Wright, now trailing by uh, nine points from Fox Morton. The youngster leads later on Airy and Bojko. That's how close it is, so it's still very much to play for, and we have a long, long way to go in this KTM Junior Cup series. There are the others, uh, Michael Large-Taylor, young Max, are down there, Coward, Connor Moody, Adam Phipps, Jordan Gill, Jack Nixon then in 11th place, 64 points off the lead. Yeah, fittingly close finish to a wonderful day's racing here at Brands Hatch. We'll have final thoughts and reflections from the two Jameses when we come back from the break. Junior Cup 
And uh, this, as I said in commentary, is pretty much a worldwide championship. All of the KTM's country, countries run this series, and it all culminates towards the end of the year in a grand international final. And there you have your three. Well, later on, Connor Thompson and the little lad. I won't say bless him, that sounds patronising, but bless him. Top of the pile. Look at that. Taylor Fox Morton, how pleased is he now leading the championship? T Fox Racing, what a future that youngster has ahead of him. Long live the KTM Cup. It's a fantastic platform to introduce youngsters into motorcycle racing, and none is more proud than that lad on the top of the box. That's an name to come to with. We'll hear more. They can't have champagne. They're not allowed to because the age cut off, as you know, is 18. There they have it. There are the trophies. Well done. Definitely uh, one to watch, I think, in the future there, isn't he, uh, Taylor Fox Morton? Uh, a little character as well. <laughs>